how to sell videos on wix hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how we can you know sell videos on wix now th this is uh, something that is going to require you to actually upgrade upgrade to premium otherwise you're not going to be able to use it for free so if you have a free wix website then unfortunately using wix only you're not going to be able to um, sell videos unless you want to use third-party applications and maybe just use wix as a landing page or whatever it may be but if you want to sell videos on wix you will need to upgrade to premium now before we continue on this video i just need to note that this is going to be a tutorial for the default wix not wix studio as it says on the top left uh, it only says that because i already have a wix studio site but again this is only for the default one so to get started, what you're going to be doing in order to start selling videos uh, is going to be going to the main dashboard of your site, like so. And then you want to go to the settings tab within the dashboard. So just click on settings and it should open up pl plenty of settings here options for you to select. Uh, we're going to focus on finance and payments here. And the thing that we need to focus on is accept payments. So this is going to be the first thing that you will need to set up, which is going to be methods on how you actually accept payments when people actually pay for your videos. So just click on accept payments. And right now it's going to show me a few options here that I can set up for my country of residence. So you can actually see uh, this is going to be only for the UAE. So it could actually be different for you depending on the country that you're residing in. Um, so I personally have Stripe as the main one to accept credit and debit card payments. PayPal is usually going to be there for you, but again, not all countries is going to are going to are going to support PayPal. And then you also may uh, click on see more uh, payment options, and here you will be able to find Google Pay, Apple Pay, and more uh, options for your country. So again, this is going to be a little bit different for each person depending on where they live. So you, if, you, if you're if you not sure which one to set up, then just go ahead and do your research about it. If you have Stripe, I highly recommend that you set up Stripe. And if you have PayPal, then I also very highly recommend to set up PayPal, both of which are going to be very strong services out there that is going to provide you with the best uh, possible outcome when it comes to accepting payments because Stripe and PayPal are very well known and they are very good. But then if you don't find them, you will need to do research about your uh, country and which uh, payment methods or, or, you know, accepting payments, uh, which service is going to be better for you. Once you connect them, so just make sure you click on connect and connect them to your account. Once you connect them, we are pretty much done with step number one. So we can just go ahead and move on to step number two, which is going to be installing the Wix stores to our website. So in order to do so, we're just going to go ahead and click on site and mobile app and click on edit site. Uh, we want to access the editor or our site editor in order to install the app. Uh, because uh, from within Wix itself, it does not actually offer a store automatically for you. You will need to actually go ahead and install the app for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to load and it, it already did. So... Once you open up your editor, you're simply just going to go to the dashboard on the left side. We're not going to adjust anything yet. Uh, we just want to click on add apps. And then from here, we just want to go to the app market and search for Wix stores. Just like that. And you should be able to find it to be a white bag and a blue background. It's going to be this one, Wix stores. So just go in and click on it and right away you can just find the uh, add to site button just click on that and confirm a few things is just going to do it here for you now once you actually do that it's going to do a few things for you it's going to create the catalog section on your dashboard so this dashboard is going to have the catalog section you're also going to find a few sample products that they add for you for testing uh, you also are going to find the carts uh, button on the top right corner of your site and also it's going to add a few pages for your site like the product page uh, your catalog page and so on so it's just going to take a little bit of time here but you can actually see the differences and now it's going to take us automatically to the category page but you can actually see it, it created product page for us for us category cards page thank you page and site cards as well now, once we actually do this and install the app, we can simply just start adding our own products, which are pretty much videos. 
In order to do so, we simply just want to save this and just exit out of here and go back to the main dashboard of our site. Go ahead and refresh the page if you have it not uh, already because we want the catalog option to show up, which is going to be right underneath sales. You're going to be able to find it right away. So just go ahead and click on catalog. And if you click on it, it's just going to take you to products automatically. And in here, you can obviously manage all things about your products. And like I said, you're going to find some sample products that Wix offers you, like these ones. So you can start by actually just, you know, uh, deleting all of them by just clicking on select all and then just more actions here. I mean, sorry, we have delete here. Just click on delete. And it's going to delete all the products here for you. Now, from the catalog and product uh, section here, you simply just click on new product from the top right corner. And now we're going to basically sell our video. So what we want to do is once we click on new product, it's going to give us two options, physical product and digital file. So obviously, because it's a video, it's not a physical product, it's a digital file. So we just want to click on that. This is going to, to load in a little bit, and then we just want to add information about our video. So first, you're just going to go ahead and give it a title. So this is going to be the name of your product or video. I'm just going to name it video test product one let's just do that video test product one but obviously for you you're going to give it a proper name so right now you're going to sell uh, or add the file that you actually want to sell so this is going to be uh where you do it you just click on upload file and you're going to go ahead and select the type of file that you actually want to sell so you have images audio files documents and zip file so what you're going to do is just have your video in a zip file and just upload that. Okay, so in order to do so, it is actually very simple. You simply just want to open up any online tool which is free out there that is going to zip up your files. So you can just go ahead and open up your, a new tab and just type in um, file or create zip file online. And it's going to actually give you multiple different options. I've used this one. It's going to allow you to click on choose file and then, you know, just go ahead and open up a, uh, this is the one that I just did for a test. And then we can just go ahead and find a video. I'm just going to pretend that it is as if this is the video that we want to sell. Click on that and then it's just going to load in a little bit. Click on start and it's just going to download the file for you. Once it's downloaded, we can just click on that to ensure that it is fully downloaded. And then once it's actually done, we simply just click on upload file, go to zip file, and then just click, uh, click on upload media, upload from your computer, and then just find it. So it should be in downloads. I'm just going to use this one. And then once it's fully done, it should say it is added to sites files. You may not end up seeing it right away. So you may just want to exit and just click on upload file one more time. Do the same thing, zip file. You should, be, you should be able to find it. Just click on it and click on add to product. And now the file is pretty much good to go. So this is how to do it. And then you just want to scroll down and give it more uh, things about, you know, about the actual video you want to be selling. So name is going to be something that we already set up. Description is pretty much, you know, a general description of what people are actually going to be purchasing. So if it's a course you know, discussing a specific topic, you will want to dive into that and let people know that this is going to be what they are getting. Uh, so obviously, people have a heads up of what they're purchasing. Once this is done, you have images and videos. This is pretty much uh, some media to showcase uh, on top of the product. So it's going to be more like the product image. So if you have some sort of a highlight or a thumbnail for the video, you want to add that as an image, just click on add image and just select the image. I'm just going to use this one as an example. Next up, you want to scroll down, your, you will find pricing. Now, pricing is going to be uh, on uh, using the same uh, currency that you're currently using. So I'm just going to do, well, it says 20, so I'm just going to keep it like that. If, you, if it's on sale, you can just do that and make sure, you know, you set up the discount price and this is going to be the sale price. So I mean, sorry, the, this is the percentage whether you want it to be as a percentage or a, uh, you know, a uh, flat fee or flat discount. Uh, next up, you have inventory and shipping. Usually with 
digital products you don't do this but if you want to track how many people get this you just simply click on this and you have for example let's say you only want to have 25 people purchasing this item you can just do that and get a click on save once you're done and now this is actually going to showcase on your um, page where it's with the catalog page that they created for you or you can just simply add it to another page so people now are going to have the ability to just click on your product and purchase it right away. And this, they're going to pretty much get a link. As you can see here, customers will receive links to download their digital products in the thank you page of the checkout, along with an email link that will last for 30 days. This is pretty much how your customers are going to be able to purchase it and get access to it. And that's pretty much it. If you want, you can just go to your uh, site design. Or sorry, before we do that, even if you want to add another thing, we can always just go back to catalog and go to new product if you want to add a new video and you simply just do the same thing over and over again. Now, if you want to see how it works, you just go to design site or site design, um, edit site, sorry, and then it's just going to load up and I'm going to show you how it's going to look like in the catalog page and also the product page for it. Okay, so once you're on the editor, you simply just want to access the category page in order to see the different products that you have. So if you just go to pages and menu, you can add you can add it to your site menu. In this menu, we have more option, uh, but if you don't, it's just going to show up next to it. And if you click on, let's say the if we go to stores pages, we can see category page, cart page, thank you page, shop page, and so on. It's going to be in the category page and it's going to show you all products. So you can just go and scroll down and you'll be able to find the uh, video that we just set up like this. So people just basically click on it and then once they click on it, they will be taken to the product page, which is going to be where they are going to purchase the actual item. You can see add to cart and uh, more about it. If you added the description for it, it's going to show up and so on. So this is pretty much all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be informative and helpful. And thanks for watching.